गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स डी जी सी एस आयर डॉक्टर सानी अवर चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ दिस ओकेजन डॉक्टर अनिल कॉल डिरेक्टर्स फ्रॉम सी डी आर आई फैकल्टी एंड फ्रेंड्स द विजन विथ विच Uh, this institute was started 1951 uh, tells about the vision of our founding fathers uh, of our great country and that puts a lot of responsibility on all of us thanks to institutions like cdri today the indian pharmaceutical business uh, is globally recognized medicines produced in india are of the highest quality medicines produced in india are available in different parts of the world and i think um, cdri lucknow part of the csr organization has a great role in uh, growing nurturing and uh, leading uh, the indian pharmaceutical industry as it is it is the institutions like cdri which need to be now nurtured as india goes into the phase of becoming a beginning uh, of uh, a new india a new india where we want to rekindle the great successes of um hindustan of bharat uh, the old uh, uh, glories where indian science indian technology was in the forefront and there are a lot of people who are aware of it this campus nurtures that culture so um while listening to dr call and and again thank you dr call for a wonderful lecture but while listening to dr call and in fact commemorating this whole event of this morning we know we have a foundation annual day uh, later uh, in the afternoon but commemorating just the fact that how the vision of great scientists and the vision of our forefathers made cdri happen made various laboratories happen is something which i thought i will dwell with and um uh, see if uh very rapidly we can work together uh to transform and we metamorphize metamorphize uh this campus into again a hubbing campus where we can uh, think of products innovations medicines uh brought out through indian science um the cdri story is what you all know i am no uh, no person to talk about it but i can only say one thing that um when i came here after a long time in october for the first research council we saw a lot of uh, energy and lot of science lot of possibilities of taking some good experiments some good initial findings to success and thanks to the support of all of you but also to the administration and i think the leadership of uh, girish ji um and a little stimulation now from uh, dr dhawan uh, we are back on track um like has been talked to talked yesterday uh, we have initially screened and supposedly identified a few uh, leads which uh, we would like to uh work together to develop them fast track into a lead which industry and commerce will feel attracted to so i think that's something which i want to ensure that happens i know all my colleagues in the research council are uh agreeing to that philosophy but i think um actually um i'm not scared about it but actually i think as we it's execution you know it's time to make sure that idea has to be executed so i think the next 2 3 4 6 12 months are going to be very critical um in ensuring that these good thoughts are put into an execution mode so that we can start even thinking of the possibility and regaining the glory of this campus because what this campus and i was talking with professor nityanand earlier today 
remembering the days when my father uh, used to come to meet them and I, I, I said this uh, four or five months ago and I'd like to say it again. It was a big event in the industry. You know, if a person from um, industry was entertained and there was a dialogue at the old CS uh, IRCD RI campus, it's big news in the industry. And those were the days uh, where uh, the recognition of the amount of knowledge, um, the vision, uh, the clarity, and uh, you know, just at the cutting edge of what was happening in the pharma industry. So that was this campus. And I, I very painfully say that was the campus, with no other negative other than the fact that I think we need to all work together to regain that so that we can not only have uh, uh, you know, some people in Europe discovering uh, bedaquiline and talk, coming as yes and talking and with good humor I'm saying that. But I think in this campus we can make things like that happen. So I think there are a lot of things which needs to be done. It's not only working together uh, as, as, as colleagues and as people who want have good things at heart. Uh, we want to uh, bring in more resources which we are assured of. But I think most importantly I think we will also have to nudge uh, our internal systems to the help of the directors but also not the system in which our regulatory, and I'm uh, concerned that our, uh, the person heading our uh, regulatory is, is not able to come today, but we will definitely influence him further. Because there has, just like the, uh, the current, uh, um, you know, in good humor, the current uh, uh, mood in the air is, you know, ease of doing business and ease of living and so on. And in that mood, I think there is tremendous need and I know many of my colleagues who have been veterans will agree, there is a tremendous need for ease of doing science, and there's a tremendous need for bringing ease of doing medical discovery in our country. Uh, Girishji, I think we need to also uh, join this bandwagon and, and uh, create a, uh, a culture uh, at Delhi, at the regulatory authority, and which hopefully will bring smiles on faces of a lot of us who are trying to work very hard to see how we can uh, create a mechanism of ease of doing science and ease of uh, doing medical discovery. The global um, drug discovery um, scenario has accelerated so fast. Uh, in, the, in the second slide, Dr. Call had sort of given a good cartoon to explain now big data, talked of uh, big data companies like Amazon getting into drug discovery, a lot of uh, um, artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, protocols are being used uh, to uh, define drugs and treat patients and so on and so forth. So in that regime, uh, I just don't want to be disillusioned myself as I think this through day and night, um, that the basics still work. I mean, we still have to do our initial experiments. We still have to have this intrigue of innovation, the questions of why things happen. And so basic science which has a good foundation in certain disease elements at this campus needs to be nurtured and uh, will be nurtured. But moreover, I think uh, all of us have to have this passion um, uh, that we are going to work together and make some good things happen. I think to, um, uh, and this is, this is in good spirit, but I think uh, we all need to work together and find every day at the campus much more exciting. Um, I think when such a wonderful um, uh, event is happening, to see a lot of red in the audience, meaning empty seats, doesn't make too much sense to me. And I think that that shows that I was telling my colleagues that we need to bring that energy back. People need to believe, and I repeat, people need to believe, even people who have been here on this campus for a long, long time, that things are going to be different, that we are going to be different. And I think only when that belief happens, because you guys have tremendous experience, correct? You've been here for such a long time, and you've seen wonderful days, and you have seen not so much, not so wonderful days. But uh, those are where the past. And I think we need to sort of erase all the bad memories that we have had and uh, put on a cap of fresh thinking um, so that we can start developing uh, and giving our country new medicines, new medicines for the people of our country, for the people of the world. And I am so therefore very excited 
uh, to talk on this occasion when the founder of this institute was a scientist who um, you know brought about discovery of vitamin D which as, as many of you know is becoming so 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 very important in the lives of uh, various various colleagues more so because we sit in auditoriums like this most of the time and in labs like this don't don't see the sun but oh, more than that I think it is a wonderful uh, moment to cherish the memory of how this vision was founded and I just want to sort of uh, give that memory back to the whole campus that I think we should all work together and um, see get get inspired from each other so that CDRI campus becomes just one more hubbing station uh, which India starts recognizing, which Uttar Pradesh starts recognizing, India starts recognizing, and hopefully the world recognizes there's something happening in India in new medicines. So thank you, Dr. Call. It, I think it's a wonderful day. Thank you, Dr. Sani, for your leadership. Thank you all.